And today we read Shri Shri Vila Pakush Manjali was 62. It's a very special and nice verse about the kitchen service. And I love this because uh, so many secret relationships are exchanged. Our feelings are exchanged in the kitchen and at Mother Yashoda's and Nanda Baba's place in Nanda Gaon. And I remember my dear Gopinan Vaya, whom I didn't hear for such a long time and whom I'm missing also very much in his sharing. He once mentioned that this place, Nandagaon, it is the meeting of Vatsalyabhav and Madhuyabhav. That means Mother Yashoda, she has these motherly feelings towards Swamini. And at the same time, Shimati Radhika always thinks about her beloved. And at the same time, the Kinkaris always support and serve Swamini in all of her feelings. So it's a very beautiful, um, you know, different, different feelings are floating here. And um, I just read a note that I took when Gurdiv was speaking about it. And he says that Shimati Radhika, she is so full of love that for her is no, no, you know, no complications. She loves Mother Yashoda, she loves her kinkaris, and she loves her Mohan, and all of them get so much love from her. So it's a festival of love in Nandagaon in Shimati Radhika's kitchen. Let's hear about it, what Baba is giving about this. Oh, Kushali, beautiful, auspicious girl. You are an expert cook. After I washed your lotus-like feet, you enter into the kitchen and offer your obeisances to the Queen of Braj, Yashoda, and other superiors. Maybe Rohini and Ma is also there. And some other elderly gopis. When will you drown me in an ocean of bliss by doing this? Oh, Kushali, beautiful, auspicious girl. She's auspicious for all Brajabasis, and she's so beautiful. Her love is shining through every limb, through every pore, to every smile. You are an expert cook. I was just thinking for a second. She is cooking all of us up. She is making all of us drown in the ocean of her love and in her, you know, beautiful feelings when she is cooking. After I washed your lotus-like feet, you enter into the kitchen and offer your obeisances to the queen of Braja, Yashoda, and other superiors. When will you drown me in an ocean of bliss by doing this? Oh, Radha Charanji. Will you check if Gurudev is coming? Uh -oh. Maybe they have some internet problems again because now I just also don't see Radha Charandi. Ramani Priya, you know if there's a problem with internet again? Oh, she's going. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, notes. In his Svarupave, Sri Raghunath's vision, he has a vision of his devotional service. And when the vision vanishes, he prayed, Ai, Kushale, 
O all auspicious Swamini, when will you enter the kitchen after washing your feet and offering your obeisances to Brajeshwari Yashoda and other superiors? Gurudev is here. Jai Gurudev. Jai. Jai Gurudev. Jai. We're missing you, Gurudev. I am not that. That other channel must see than my thing. Die. <laughs> Good. Thank you. I will read the verse again, Gurudev, because we just started with the verse. You started now. Achha, wow. So I am right time. Right time, Gurudev. Yeah. Oh, Kushali. Beautiful, auspicious girl. You are an expert cook. After I washed your lotus like feet, you enter into the kitchen and offer your obeisances to the Queen of Braja of Rindavan, Yashodama, and other superiors. When will you drown me in an ocean of bliss doing this? Doing this. Notes. In his Svarupa Vish, Sri Raghunath has a vision of his devotional service. And when the vision vanishes, he prays. Ai Kushale, O oh, all auspicious Swamini. When will you enter the kitchen after washing your feet and offering your obeisances? to Prajeshwari Yashoda and other superiors. The maidservant changes Srimati's clothes and ornaments and dresses her in clothes that are fit for use in the kitchen. Sri Raghunath clearly perceives this pastime. During the visualization, it appears as if it is directly happening. But after the vision subsides, one considers, oh, that wasn't real. It was just a vision. Then, with piteous cries, one prays again. Then the meditation appears again as if it is directly happening. In this way, the Lila Smaran gradually continues. When a sensitive devotee hears this and recites this, like we are doing, we are hearing now and reciting, we are taking part in this, he will think, oh, hope. Blessed is Sri Das Goswami. He was totally free from bodily consciousness when he fell on the bank of Radhakund, the crown jewel of Praja, and was blessed the full vision of the greatly swelling sweetness of the divine couple. 
day and night. Will I ever attain even a single drop of this ocean of bath by his grace? Shikavi Kanapura teaches in Alanka Kaustuba. Vibhavayati Utpadayati Di Vibhav. A Vibhav causes the dormant desires for devotion to awaken in the hearts of the devotees who have similar feelings. Although perhaps Sri Das Goswami is not able to awaken his listeners' emotions to the same extent as his, he is still able to water the seeds in their hearts. Radhe Radhe, <clears throat> can I say yes, something? <clears throat> please. I think it's very important, this went very wonderful line you read, uh, similar feelings. Can you read it again? It's very beautiful. Uh -huh. Yes. A vibhav causes the dominant, the dominant or sleeping desires for devotion to awaken in the hearts of the devotees who have similar feelings. So here Baba is making a very, very valuable and very important point. Like always when we come to this point, like Srila Rupa Goswami is saying that we all we all need this. We all need Snikta and Satchati Sangha. So we need to be together with those who have similar feelings. Only then, Baba is saying, can the feelings for devotion come into our hearts. So it's very important that we, first of all, we ourselves establish ourselves in our study bath and we look for the association of those with similar feelings. This means Satchati. That means that we should be together with also practitioners of Manjari Bhav, that means similar feelings, that means Sajati and Snikta who are very, who are loving and who are very kind and who are very merciful like you all here. So this is actually what we are practicing here. Baba is saying is actually we awaken in ourselves. When you read Sunidhi Van Gora, Guranga Sundi, when everyone reads, these feelings are coming into our hearts. And one point is so important because we all share the same feelings. We all have a kanda bath. We all want to be kinkaris of Swamini. So Baba is making here a very, very deep and very also philosophical rasic point that we should be together with uh, 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 brothers and sisters with similar feelings. Yes, Tarun Baba, I feel the same. And another thing that came up in my heart when I, I, I contemplate about this Baba's beautiful expression, then I feel also there's two Vibhavas when we are reading, or three actually, this Vilapakushmanjali. This can happen in the heart of someone who is very uh, um, eager to receive it. We get the feelings from Raghunath Das Goswami and the feelings of Baba because he is expressing his bhajan also. And also when any devotee will speak or especially a realized devotee like Gurudev, then also all these feelings will stir up my own heart and make a motion, emotion. Something will move there. And these emotions are the, the fire that needs to be, you know, fondled, or how do you say that? Increased. Kindled. 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 You know, kindled, kindled. Yeah. The fire that of, of these emotions, the, these are, these are my, um, my food. That's why Gurudev always says this. We have to concentrate on Vilap Koshmanjali and Radhara Sudanidi. Because these are the Vibhavas, these emotions that are floating in 
the lines and even in between the lines. And they cause the dormant because in my heart there's also some desires. I'm a beginner. I also desire to, to realize and to feel and to see, but it's sleeping. I'm still like a sleeping. That's called also the Ajati Bhakta, the one who is not uh, Arati. He's not in, in, in this deep uh, attachment yet. When the fire of this comes, big becomes bigger and stronger then the visions will come and more steadiness in smaran will come but at the moment we are uh, i am dependent on the prashad right gurudev that's why i'm always eager for your prashad without uh, association our sleeping mood not wake up we are always in sleeping dormant mode. We are, don't like be in feeling and spiritual development. This feeling comes by association. And this feeling association and goes also. That is also not working. This has to be a five of fixed nature. And fixed nature without not, like I have a one radio. And I want to listen some BBC news. Or oh, I can listen. Then I have to fix the frequency with that frequency. In my radio, I have to fix. So my frequency has to fix. If not, then it's a dormant mode. I have no idea of my frequency, how to find the BBC or other news radio station, then I cannot find it. First, we have to know my frequency, radio, and the station frequency, and we have to fix it. So similarly, our spiritual identity and the station, the, the goal, that is spiritually we have to fix, then we can listen and we can see it. That say, waken, I am wake up, I can see it. And one is the, my sleeping mode. I'm sleeping with this for the different birth. How to wake up and to be uh, without association, not possible. Why I want to be in all of your association? The, I don't go in sleeping mode. Association make us to wake Without listening, there's no way out. We escape from listening. We don't, we listen from the mind and we listen from the heart. Two type of listening. When I listen from the mind, I forget. But listen, from the, in the heart is the drinking that goes and stays there. That practice has to clean my ear, listen that. Yeah. Good if I remember when we were talk when we now talk about this uh, the dormant and the sleeping feelings in our soul. So I was thinking I was remembering what um, I don't know how many sessions before you 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 shared with us. I think Gopinath or someone he no it was Balaram Balaramji was making the point. Why is it that we have this dormant side in us that we we are able to 
to get this frequency, which is a wonderful, wonderful example with the radio. So actually, and Balaram made this very wonderful point, because we are part and parcel of Krishna. We are an energy of Krishna. So automatically, we are ready to, to, to find that frequency, to, to get that frequency from Gurudev, fine at you. And so we have this in our soul. The Jiva is always eager to, to he's a part of, of Krishna, a part of this, of, of, of himself. So we, we are always able to, to engage, to be engaged in Bhakti. We only need the Kripa of the Vaishnavas and Guru. And so that this, Awakening can can happen. So this is the. I think this is a very good point that we have to always remember that we are the servants, and we are the kinkaris, and we are eternally connected with our source, and therefore bhakti can appear in our hearts. Actually, Gurudev fix radio and give to you. Listen, he don't say about frequency. When we get the Sarnagati of Gurudev, totally surrender, then he say your frequency is this, and you can listen yourself. I you don't need me. But without taking full Sarnagati is not possible. Then he fix the radio and give to us. Okay, listen, this is the, this you want to listen, listen that, listen that. But he saw the frequency when we are totally surrendered to him and we want to follow. Yeah. Will I ever attain even a single drop of this ocean of bath by his grace? A vipa, of course, is the dormant desires for devotion to awaken in the hearts of the devotees who have similar feelings. You see, daya. You see the whole line is this. Explain this if they understand this is the third one. That's why base rasa we find is a foundation, is a tattva. And uh, then you can, the base has to be tattva. This is the tattva. This is the way only we have to understand. Yes, Gurudev, if I understand that this is the way how to, to wake up my, my desires, I need to listen from somebody who is already in transcendental senses, who is in transcendental desires. So my own desires will, you know, go to the right uh, radio station, to the Radha Dasyam radio station, to Sevaras radio, uh, you know, frequency. And if okay. I know it, then I will not neglect. Is my constitutional point that can catch the frequency. My body and my senses cannot catch the frequency. My mm. constitutional position, my soul knows that frequency. The frequency of super soul. Material thing cannot catch the frequency of the spiritual. If we want to move for a spiritual thing, we have to come that place to fix my journey. If I want Why? to fix material mind and senses and body, it will never, never, never possible to do. Then the, the spiritual identification is government stage. Because we are trying from different place. That's the point. Yeah. 
आना चाहिए चलिए आना चाहिए somebody has to explain this somebody would like to share on this more i think guru dev made it very clear but i was just thinking for an example uh for myself to better understand so a wee bath is a bath which comes to me without expected so it's not my bath it's a bath of a person who is more advanced more deep absorbed but it comes and it is reflected in my heart if it is clean enough so in this way it's like somebody is doing something which i didn't expect to exist but now i feel oh yes it exists oh my god i also want so in this way my wish actually will grow that i will get it i also want to get that i also want to have this bhava steady steadily always not just once by the mercy of another person i really want to have it always so in this way i get the wish and we all know wish is the first base of getting something because if we have the wish and we go to the right person then he can fulfill that wish so we know that this spiritual persons they are kalpa vrikshas they can fulfill but first we have to get the wish so if we hear about this transcendental situation of sevaras from ragunadas goswami then in our heart can also grow that wish and then we can steady that wish put it on a line stay to it stand to it and in this way we can hear more in satchatya sangha and get the mercy of the devotees and come further and then guru dev is giving us this like you know when you want to hear the police information there's a special uh part you can channel. get to hear it huh channel yeah special channel but nowadays you also need some something to get it some uh special radio or something like this so guru dev is giving us this with the right frequency this is the manjari channel and then we can grow further but first we have to have the wish to get it then we go to the right person he is connecting us and then it will grow i i also think it is very important to understand the meaning of the word vibhav vibhav means actually when you read bhakti rasamrita sindhu vibhav is a stimulant of an emotion so something which is stimulating your emotion so when mother yashoda for example sees the shoes of krishna so that is stimulating emotions in the heart of mother yashoda so now baba is making here the point that these vibhavas these stimulants of emotions can only come into our hearts when we have the same frequency like those who give out these vibhavas so when we are when we are fixed in vatsalya rasa when we are fixed in dasya rasa when we want to go to vaikuntha we cannot uh, get anubhavas because anubhavas are those 
reactions who follow VBAV. So you get anubhavs when you get a, a VBAV. So the VBAV is the stimulant and the anubhav is what you get in your heart. So we can only get the anubhav following a VBAV when we have the same feeling of those persons who give out the VBAV. So therefore, again, it is very important to be in Sachati Sangha. If Sadhu Maharaj Gurudev is giving out so wonderful stimulants and Baba and Narayan Maharaj, all Prabhupada, all Mancharis are giving out stimulants, are giving out Vibhavas. So our heart has to have the same capacity, the same frequency, which is there in the soul, which is there by Gurudev's mercy, that we can receive this Vibhav and then we can have by the purity of our heart, we can have Anubhavs, we can react to that Vibhava. So therefore this Ekandabhav, this same frequency is very, very important. Oh, you're mute, Udi. Sorry. If the frequency is not fixed, then my progress is not good. That has to be as high fixed. Then how we how all step by step we start coming. We have to try to see to live in our frequency, in our self, in our confusion. It it will bring out to me in my material identification. Again we have to go back to practice. Again it will come out, again we have to go back, again they will push me out, again we have to go back. And the association will also leave that. This is my daily use. It's not easy that I not try, the automatic it will come to me. That is the sadhana. That is the real sadhana in our life. Outside <laughs> is a religious sadhana, Vaidhi Bhakti. Inside this practice is the Raga Bhakti. You know, this practice to be in my frequency and the frequency go out, again come to the frequency. Like radio you fix, it run away frequency, then again you touch the finger and fix it nicely. Mm. Then again it will go after some time, because very busy station, very many are listening. So you have to fix one sensitive place. It will go out and because my old practice catching me back. Today. Wow, you come. Say it, yeah. Toranga, you. Me? Yeah. Because all of you inspired me, actually, honestly to say, I spent many years by learning these these subjects because many years ago I understood actually how important it is to understand these five elements components which are building a rasa and like Gurudev say this is rasa tattva so the first ingredient is Vibhav. And when he says Vibhav, when Gurudev says Vibhav, and to tune ourselves, it means we have first to define which kind of relationship we want. This is inner cause. This is inner cause. Without defining which kind of relationship with Krishna or with ever, there is no Bhav, there is no Rati, there is no attachment. And what to speak about Vibhav? So when we define, and in these words, is very 
nicely describe many vibhavs, actually. Yashoda has vibhav with Krishna. Tulsi has vibhav, specific vibhav with Radharani. Gopis, they have specific vibhav with Radha and Krishna, and so on and so on, who is there in different rasas. Sakas also are present there. So what does it mean? It means that there is a lover and beloved, Vishai and Ashrai. For Yashoda, Krishna is Vishai. He is the goal of her love. And she is shelter of that love. She is devotee, devotee, full of motherly devotion for his beloved son. This is one vibhav. Another vibhav is Radha and Krishna. Krishna is the goal of Radhika's love. He is the Vishaya. And Radhika is the shelter of all love towards him, Ashra. Same thing is going in relationship with Tulsi and Radhika. Radhika is Vishai for Manjaris. And Manjaris are this reservoir of Radha Dasi or Radha Bhav. Manjari Bhav, sorry. And when we sadhakas are listening about this different relationship, in one moment defined what we really want, which kind of relationship we want. And we say, okay, I want this and that relationship. In that moment, we are ready to tune ourselves because we fixed ourselves in our desire. It's not, we didn't attain still, but we fix out in our desires to tune ourselves in this specific relationship. I want to become Radha Dasi and to, have, and to be Radha Adisneha. So it means the devotee who is a sadhaka, he fixed who is his Vishai? Who is his goal? And then he is Ashrai. He is this reservoir which is trying to nourish them. Then we have to, then we go to another point, which is also present in this Vibhav concept. Like Tarun Baba said, stimulants. What stimulates now this relationship? Kitchen is stimulants, is the place which is Udipan, stimulates relationship between mother and son, between Radhika and uh, mother Yashoda. Kitchen is the place which stimulates that all these different love increase more and more. So, when Baba is saying, Vibhava causes the dormant desires for devotion to awaken, it means, somehow I understand it, that devotee has to define which kind of Vibhava he wants, or actually relationship, to be fixed in that, and then dormant desires for devotion by listening only those who are in that mood, same feeling, will start to awaken and awaken and awaken in his heart. And this is the first condition for rasa to appear. To clearly understand, define relationship in which bhavas, Vibhavas, inner cause from the heart will start to nourish this relationship. And then stimulances are coming. Stimulus is age, for example. 
Yashoda likes little boy Gopal, and his age is a stimulus for her vibhav. And when Sadaka, who has some attraction to Vatsalya Rasa, said, Oh, yeah, I feel so good <laughs> in this. He is stimulating his dormant love for Vatsalya Rasa by listening to those who are fixed and self-realized in this Vatsalya Rasa. Then dormant love, through this kind of Vibhava relationship with fixed relation, fixed tuning is starting to appear. Otherwise, it will not come out. And rasa will never appear in the heart of devotee. I'm sorry. Maybe it's too complicated. We can speak. No, please continue. You said only this is the first step. What are the other four? You are muted. Anuba is the second step. When you have established relationship, loving relationship, whatever relationship is, and you stimulate this relationship with different kinds of ingredients, then love, pure love, appears in the soul and so, person has to express this love. And yesterday we were reading about songs which Radha and Mokhan exchange between each other. So this is Anuba. They bhav, we bhav is parakya bhav, loving, forbidden relationship. And now they, they are in situation of the forest. This is Udipan, which is stimulates their nourishing, intensify their love. And what they are doing? Anubhav. They start to sing to each other. So this is the beginning of rasa. It's still not rasa full. Because all these ingredients are coming together simultaneously. Also, then, also, <clears throat> also via bichari buffs. Like, wait like, a second. Wait yeah, a yeah, second. Yeah. Wait a second. No. <laughs> sorry, sorry. First Anubhav. Sorry, First sorry. Anubhav is going. Sorry, Tarunji. First Anubhav. Because this is on a conscious level. Then it's going. Sattvic above, third ingredients, when they start to perspire, to cry, the ghost pimples, isn't it, Tarunji? Ghost pimples are starting. It's coming completely, automatically, without consciousness. And this is Sattvic above. Or we say Ashta Sattvic Bhavs. Then, like Tarunji said, Vyabhichari Bhavs, different transition emotions which are coming. Oh, fear. Wow. What will happen? We will be separated. Or proud. Proudness is also Vyabhichari Bhav. You can see how these psychological emotions combine together simultaneously and bring rasa. And finally, we have a staibhav, which is also in the beginning. Fixed. Fixed completely. And without this staibhav, nothing of these first things will appear. Staibhav is Rati, Staibhav is in the Bhava, Staibhav is Anubhava, is Vyabhichari Bhava, Staibhava is Staibhava, our real 
relationship and our real Siddha Swarup. Wonderful. And it's Vastu Siddhi. Complete, fixed. <laughs> Before is self-siddhi, because the, the devotee is still in the body, but when he changed the body, when the body vanished, and he is still situating in his vibhava, anubhava, he is relishing complete rasa, and he is completely, he attained his position. Constant position. I but can, I can, yeah, sorry. I can, so I can wholeheartedly please. recommend. Thank you so much for this beautiful, beautiful explanation, my dear brother. So wonderful, Dandavats. Very, very beautiful. If, if someone is interested, Gurudev also very much likes this one book by my Gurudev, by Baba. This is called Rasa Darshan. It's a very small booklet. If I find it as a PDF, I will put it in the Radha Dasyam group. It is really nice to read about what Baba is saying about these different kinds of rasas and the Vipavas and the Anubhavas. It's really nice. I hope I have it on my... It's a, it's a, it's a nice PDF file so I can share in Radha Dasyam. It's very, very beautiful. And uh, it's, I think Gurudev uh, was reading it maybe one, two, three years before together with a devotee. And he liked it very, very much. Thank you, Goranga Sundara. I want to share small thing. I, I know nothing but my tears come out, Goranga Sundara. I have no idea what you speak, but my feeling is very, very emotional. <laughs> Thank you so much for your all this, all from you. I'm very inspired. Thank you so much. That I can be a part of this association. <laughs> this you. is a very, it sounds complicated. But this is the essence of Rasa. If we don't understand these five crucial points, whatever we read, it will be not complete. Our realizations will be not complete because the Rasa what which whatever rasa is will never be relished completely and this is why gurudev is saying this is tattva and this is so simple actually because we can find in our daily life in our relationship when we love someone vibhava when we express our love by kissing by uh, singing by dancing anubhav. When this is so strong and intense, Varjeshwari, my dear, very simple. Every one of us has his, we, we feel what? Goose pimples. We, we feel ecstasy in the heart. Then some vyabhichari bhav, transitory emotions, pass passing emotion appears, oh, what will happen tomorrow? I will not see him. And finally, this is my stai bhava. This is my position which I will never move from this relationship, from these expressions of love, because this is me. And that's all philosophy. I spent 10 years trying to catch Prabhupada's point. I send and the file, I, I send the book into Radha Dasyam. Sorry. Please. The book is there. there is a lot of things which is explained in Jaiva Dharma. But what Tarun is saying is Baba makes very simple. But what is the point? We should put in a daily life to understand at least the shadow of these feelings. Otherwise, we will speak and we will not know what we are speaking.
Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe Duranga. Can I ask you something? No. <laughs> I thank you so much. I'm so touched about this. But I have a question. Please ask. Anyone will answer. Please ask. Can you hear me? Uh, but I, yes, I, I thought the Rangos don't like to. Maybe someone else can can help me. Um, I thank you so much for all of this, what you are sharing. And uh, I try to understand. And when you talk about stimulants and you said, Mother Yashoda, um, for her, it's a stimulant to do the things in the kitchen for her uh, Gopal. So I, I, what does that mean for us as Mandaris to think about or to feel what is the stimulants for Swamini and for Krishna, for our Mohan? Um, or it's better to... And to Oh, my or is it better to to think about what what helps me to come into more bath to to deepen my relationship this stimulants this kind of stimulants or is it both um, can you maybe I'm not so clear what I mean but maybe someone can give me an answer or can explain a little bit more about this no no it's very very clear. It's very, really, very clear because it's confusion which needs to be clarified. And you are putting in a very nice, clear way your question, actually. How to apply this, what we were talking about, how to apply in our daily sadhana. So, Mother Yashoda, I'm speaking about this, Vatsalya Rasa, Mother Yashoda is a mother and her motherly love is most most intense when her son has a five to uh, ten seven eight years because she is taking care of him about everything she's feeding him she's giving him all her love motherly love and she is the most sweetest for the mother when she is young boy and krishna enjoys motherly love much more when she is a young boy than when she when he is adolescent boy This is a relationship. Mothers always and parents wants to see their children like a small boy and girl. Because this is so sweet. Even if they have 50 years, you know. I have 60 years. My mother always, when she put me and hug me, oh my dear, oh my dear. That It looks that I'm very, very small. Because her expression of love is most intensive when she imagined that I'm a little boy. <laughs> so in another rasa, Manjari is washing the feet of Radharani, it's written here in the words. Washing the feet of Radharani. So this is her expression, Anubhav, expression of her deep love. I want to prepare you, to dress you, to wash your feet, my dear Rade, that you can come in the kitchen.
And now through the bhajan, through these kinds of simple examples, we can relish this rasa. And for that, we need, Tarun Baba said, Anathadas Baba said, Guru Dev was emphasizing, emphasizing, emphasizing. First, we have to fix in our relationship and in our, what we, re, which kind of relation. I don't want the kids. Which kind then of Vibhava I will have if I don't like kids? Sorry. <laughs> I cannot make Vibhava with them. I cannot express Anubhava to them. Isn't it? So this is very, very normal because Bhakti is natural. I give you just hints. Tarun, Sunitiji and others can give you and other things. This basically, is you can. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you you said everything there is to say. You cannot, you cannot uh, react. You cannot react to bibabas. You cannot react to stimulations if you are not attuned. You cannot. So it's in the mundane world is exactly the same, you know, exactly the same. I love music, Suniti loves music, Maduri loves music. So every one of us this is a very mundane example. Everyone reacts to different stimulations. Suniti surely doesn't like the same music I like. You see, this is, this is different, you know. I like metal, she doesn't like metal. Nobody, not much people like hard rock or stuff like that. So we have to be... We, ha we have to have a certain frequency to get these reactions. The whole philosophy of experiencing rasa stands and it falls with our stai buff. If we don't have the same stai buff, like you said, Goranga Sundra, all respect, but I'm not really super interested in how the cowherd boys are running around in the fields and how they are dressing up and how they are playing hide and seek. This is very beautiful, no doubt about it. No diminishing, no offense, but I am not interested in this. I am not interested in dasya, like, like, you know, being a servant, nearly neutral. And I'm also not interested in uh, parental exchange. What is Mother Yoshoda doing? What is the children, Krishna as a small baby? This is all glorious and transcendental, but not, this is not what my heart is yearning for. So we, we cannot experience rasa without having our stai buff. This is the easiest thing to understand. And when we have our stai buff, when we know what we want to become, what we want to realize, then what Goranga Sundara so beautifully elaborated upon, then we can experience in rasa. And it is very beautiful, actually, because this whole rasa theory of experiencing rasa, Baba is even making in that book, Examples of worldly literature, of because at, in the beginning, the Muni Bharata Muni, this this very this beautiful poet who who was the founder Rupa Goswami, he took all the philosophy of Rasa from the mundane perspective and put it in the transcendental view. So when you go to a theater, in the theater play, like in you watch Shakespeare, Hamlet, or, or Othello, or Macbeth, whatever. So there, from this. Uh, from this uh, uh, culture, this all, this whole philosophy was transferred to the spiritual. We are the spectators. Radha and Krishna are the main actors. So we get all the emotions the actors are uh, having on the stage is transferred to the audience if we are of the same mood. But it cannot happen if we are all in a different mood. This is the most important thing. I, we can all watch and very much appreciate Ramachandra or Nishinga Dev or, or, or the, 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 the Varaha Dev when he's uh, taking the, the earth on his snout and all these things. This is all very wonderful. But someone who is practicing Manjari Bhav, he has not, he has not these reactions to the Vibhavas. His Anubhavs, his Vyapichari Bhav, his Satvika Bhav, his experience in one word, his experience of the whole thing cannot happen because we are not in the same mood. And this is not a bad thing. Like Goranga Sundara said, this is natural because we are in 
for the manjari bath. We love this stimulants when we hear Vilapakusa Manjali, when we hear Ratha Rasa Sutta Nidhi, when we hear the descriptions which enhance our feelings in our stai bath. Otherwise, it is just not possible. The whole thing is like a card house. If you pull out the card called stai bath, the whole card house is collapsing and there will be no experience. That is what Gurudev is teaching us at every moment. We have to fix our stai bath. Permanent nature, bhavo lasa rati. Take example of our brother Hanuman. He is fixed in his vibhava of Ramach Sitaram. He is fixed in his vibhava. He is expressing his emotions. He is he enter in ecstasy when he is listening or speaking about his ishtadev, and in that way he is more fixed in his taiba, and you cannot move him. He will run away. If he starts to listen about breasts of Shimati Radharani, about the scratches of nails on her breasts, and his behavior is the proper behavior. Or Mother Sanatani from Italy, she is fixed in Vatsali, Viva, and all her expressions are going in that direction. And she doesn't have to listen all these Parakya Bhava Lilas. It's obstruction actually for her natural bath. But the point is of Gurudev and all Acharyas, find your place. Find, be fixed in your relationship. Then connect yourself with those who can infuse you with their pure relationship, emotions, from their pure heart. And this is the process of sadhana bhakti. That's it. I always think when I see Hanuman, I I always think when I see our brother Hanuman, that we can, that I can, I hope I can one day have such, so much style love for, for, for my Ishtadev, like he has for Sita Ram. This is my... Honestly speaking, when I see his determination, this is what I pray for. Jai, I want to say something in like rounding up the whole discussion or explanation. Birds of the same feather feel together. Although I know that our Hanumanji, and he's also here, he's listening. He always enough, says that. Enough already, enough, enough. <laughs> but you always say also, it inspires you because the the feeling of service that the Manjaris have, you also imply them in your service to Hanuman, to Sita Ram. You have learned so much and that's what you are here for. You want to increase your emotions for serving, for Sevaras in your own feelings. To your own ishtati. I don't know if it's that conscious. It's more I just want to be with all of you. Because <laughs> your, your association in, does increase my bhav to ishtati. Jai Shri Ram. Yes, so, it is. So it's, whether, we, whether we express it in words or in Sanskrit, it's a feeling, right? So it's mm. about feeling and how to increase the feelings together and how to know how feelings are increasing <laughs> when we are serving and to be uh, concentrated in one kind of love and one kind of expression of love. So you, um, are you okay when I start to uh, continue to read? Yes. Or somebody would like to hear more on this? Mm. So will I ever attain even a single drop of this ocean of bath? 
a rebirth or a stimulation, as we have learned now, causes the dormant desires for devotion to awaken in the hearts of the devotees who have similar feelings. Although perhaps Srila Raghunath Das Goswami is not able to awaken his listener's emotion to the same extent as his, he is still able to water the seeds in their hearts, making them fit for such desires to fructify in them. See, that is also a very nice point. We are hearing and listening together and the seed in the heart is watered. And when the seed is watered and there's the sunshine of, you know, good association and warm feelings with each other, no enmity, uh, no pride, all these positive things come out and the seed will fructify. And my listening will result into, you know, ongoing and stable feelings. That is what we are trying to develop here. The more the devotees hear and read the word of Raghunath Das Goswami, the more the seed of the dormant love of God will fructify and grow. This is the effect that Vibhav has on the listener. So thank you all and especially also Goranga Sundara for explaining it so detailed and so masterly. And uh, at the same time we can relax and breathe deeply. It's simple. <laughs> It's simple feelings. Who is that? Is this Gurdiv? Yes, now Gurdiv. Read again, Gurdiv. <laughs> Last line. Okay, got it. The more the devotees hear... Last and hear, line. Read again. Yes. The last, more... The more yeah, the devotees... The last line. Did they... Although, perhaps... What? Dormant. Dormant. Again, that. Okay. A bath causes the dormant desires for devotion to awaken in the hearts of the devotees who have similar feelings. Although perhaps Shilaragunath Das Goswami is not able to awaken his listeners' emotions to the same extent as his own devotion, he is still able to water the seeds in their hearts, making them fit for such desires to fructify in them. Was that the right line, Gurdiv? <laughs> no, I know. I can. We fell out for a minute. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> okay, That's yes. Okay. <laughs> It will be a good, uh, you know, it will stick with us today. Will I ever attain even a single drop of this ocean of bath by His grace? Shikavikarnapura teaches in Alankar Kaustupa. Avibhav causes the dormant desires for devotion to awaken in the hearts of the devotees who have similar feelings. Although perhaps Chilaragunath Das Goswami is not able to awaken his listeners' emotions to the same extent as his emotions, he is still able to water the seeds 
in their hearts, making them fit for such desires to fructify in them. The more the devotees hear and read the words of Sri Raghunath Goswami, the more the seed of their dormant love of God will fructify and grow. This is the effect that rebirth has on the listener. So, Gopinath Daya, what is your uh, vipav? What kind of stimulant can you give to us? Sorry, internet is very bad. Um, no, it's good. No, 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 come on. We are missing yeah. you so much. <laughs> I miss you too very much. Soon they're coming. Soon you're coming all. Hi, Gora Chandra. Gora Sundara is going to come with you. Ninth his flight is not there for India. What good is? I didn't get that. <laughs> just, just, just to maybe uh, explain what Gurudev is saying, like um, yeah. commentary to Gurudev's uh, saying is, there's a huge international uh, meeting going on in Delhi. So whole yes. Delhi is closed from 8, 9th and 10th. So Gurudev oh my is God. concerned for the well-being of those devotees who are arriving those days. And yes. it's recommended there's a chance to change or come earlier and then be stuck here in Vrindavan is the best. So if uh, if Gora Sundar can already come with you, Suniti Didi, then it would be ideal to said it's better than because he's coming, I think, exactly those days. Right? He's coming, he's flying on the 8th and yeah. yes. Yes, okay, I will deliver yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. That's what Gurudev is. Thank you, Gurudev. You're always so concerned. Gopinath, yes, Gopinath, please share something of your feelings about the feelings. <laughs> what is Vibhav, Gurudev? When a bhav, when it goes in the more feelings, intensify. Intensify. More details coming up. Excellent. Wow, beautiful. More, more. So there's Anubhav and then Vibhav. Vibhav, then Anubhav. First many, Vibhav. many, many will come and then realization is done. I don't understand. Can you explain more? No. Tell them, Baba and. Uh, <laughs> Yaranga Sundar explained very nicely. Yeah. But beautiful class. And again, uh, repeat it is good for everyone. Yaranga Sundar said, no problem. What are you doing? Repeat it. All of us. Mm -hmm. You are go. pressing me that I have to torture the others. I did no torture. We want to go deep and then torture what? What not understand, they have to understand. It. Sorry, I'm a, a very beginner, so I don't even know the terms Anubhav, Vibhav. Yeah, yes, yes, I believe you. I, I, I totally believe to you. Can, can we leave it and skip out from the next time? Yes, as like yeah. yes, please. We can do intimately, <laughs> personally, <laughs> rather rather. Hey, I also want to listen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what can I speak? It only can help us to realize it. Anyway, <laughs> short. I will give short version. <laughs> but I really recommend what. Tarun Baba is saying that devotees pick up or this PDF or what is this? No, no, PDF, I see that. Yeah, no. 
Rasa Darshan, yes, Rasa Darshan. It's too complicated. It's too complicated. Okay. It's, it's very, uh, very much Sanskrit. Uh, we can uh, put it in words. I think it was very nice when you are audience and viewer. After that is very complicated. Yes, Guru there, because Baba is putting on philosoph philosophical side. You will be dry. Yeah. Uh, the point is, I took 10 years, Gurudev, honestly to say. Naran Maharaj uh, inspired me to read this Jaiva Dharma, this specific part, and also Prabhupada in Nectar of Devotion. And I didn't understand anything. But somehow, by the mercy of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, I started to understand little by little in a daily, normal life how it works, and he is giving also the same example like Ananta Das Babaji is giving here right. about uh, theater. Mm -hmm. That someone is in the audience and someone is playing the role. So Vibhava is when the two hero and heroines are exchanging their specific relationship. This is basic. We didn't say which kind of relationship. Hero and heroine. It can be lovers, but it can be friends and in other races. But their mutual love exchange of their love in which one is receiver of the love and another one is container of that love. He possessed that love. He's directed his love to this person. This is basic understanding of Viva. It in in Devotional life, it means Krishna is Vishay and devotee in his specific relationship is Ashray. He is this reservoir of love. Mother Yashoda has relationship with Krishna like a mother, parental love, Vatsalyaras. She is devotee of motherly love. And he is receiver on her of her motherly love. This is Vibhav. And in this Vibhav, there is one small, or maybe it's not small, but it's one part also very important that this Vibhav become complete. And this part is Udipan or stimulances. What is stimulate motherly love to her son the most? And Acharyas are going explaining this. Age is one of the first stimulants for the motherly love. Because when Krishna is a small Gopal, for example, mother can express all her love in such a sweet, hairy, way you are my son you are my son and in that moment her son is taking the most pleasure in this relationship with her mother krishna is receiving motherly love and he's most satisfied 
in this specific relationship. When Gopika or Gopina are fondled their kids, they already have a loving relationship with them. This is their vibhav. But when they are like behave like a small children, they are they putting them on the lap. They are giving them a sweets. This is most more enjoyable for the parents and also for the kids. And the parents doesn't want that they kids grow up. Because this is natural. Because in this position when they are small, little, they exchange the most intensity of the love in this specific relationship. I took this example because most devotees are more familiar with that. And many have problems with other bugs. So, when we speak about this vibhav, this is natural. The same thing Radhika has with Krishna, but we are so impersonal that we cannot alive this personal relationship. We think that bhakti yoga is a mystic, impersonal yoga. We forget bhakti. And it's strange for us because we don't have experience of exchange of love in different relationships. This is why we need so many times, so many years, a long time to really put in ourselves impersonal voidism. And when we listen about this, we think that this is a theory. But actually it's going around us all the time in the life. This is a relationship. Loving, exchange of love, and specifically we hear, Sunitiji was reading very nice words, pure motherly love. This is nectar. And this Vibhava is present in the heart of devotees who are fixed in that bhava. And when we listen them, or we read, but we are reading in the such a way that we listen. It's not reading. Reading is listening also. When we listen these kind of devotees, then effect of their vibhava is penetrating in our heart. But the first condition is, I have to decide what I want, which kind of relationship and which position in that relationship is possible. Because I can say I want motherly uh, Vasalya Rasa, but in the same time I want to be, I don't know, Gopi, Saki. But it doesn't, it is Rasa Bas. We should understand which position of servant is in specific rasa. Then from that position, listen those who are already attained perfection in that rasa. Then their vibhava will penetrate in the heart of sadhak and completely awaken dormant love in them. And Baba is saying here, maybe, maybe, it's just maybe, Raghunath doesn't have ability to wake to full capacity 
these kind of emotions in the heart of devotee. Not because he is not able, but because the heart of that devotee, there is no sufficient sukriti to receive. Raghunath is very able, but the heart of devotee is not ready, prepared to receive all his vibhavas. But the drops of his words, drops of his feelings can enter in the heart of Sadaka. And then, slowly but surely, not with rush, Sukritis will appear, Sukritis will condense more and more, and it, it means that heart will be ready, enough purified, to receive the, the more quantity of this Vibhav. From the heart, from the mouth of the Rasik devotee. And Baba is saying, which kind of Rasik devotee? In the same feelings. That's it. Rade. So, Sorry. I, if, if I can add something more, I just, I just have the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu open here. And Rupa Goswami is giving the essential verse about this wonderful explanation of Goranga Sundara he, he just gave. It's found in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu in the second Kando 1.5. And uh, Rupa Goswami is writing, This Rati for Krishna called the Staibhav, this verse again shows how much important the Staibhav is. And when we hear these verses, we should always think that our Staibhav is Manjari Bhav. So here Srila Rupa Goswami is writing, This Rati, for Krishna, called the Staibhav, so this is our Radhik Sneha, takes on a pleasurable nature in the hearts of the devotees by the Vibhavas, Anubhavas, Sattvika Bhavas, and Vyapichari Bhavas through activities such as hearing and then becomes Bhakti Rasa. And with this verse, he is giving the explanation, and here we see that out of our stai bhav, if there is no stai bhav, then there can be no pleasurable nature in the hearts, and we cannot experience vipav, anupav, sadvika bhav, and vyabhijari bhav. It's not possible. And he says only by activities as hearing and chanting in the association of, uh, of the, of the, of the like-minded devotees like Sachadi, we can then experience bhakti rasa. So this is like cooking a sabji, and at the end the sabji is called bhakti rasa, and in the sabji there is vibhav, anubhav, sadvika bhav, vyabhichari bhav, but without a stai bhav, it's not possible. So the stai bhav is the pot. You cannot cook a sabji without a pot. You cannot have these experiences without the stai bhav. I find this is very inspiring. Thank you, Karanga Sundara. And I just want to add something. I finally understood this little as I understood when I met Gurudev. He put the cream of the all other words of Acharyas because he showed me by his own example what does it mean to live in Staiba. And he was always a kanta to speaking about one bhav, manjari bhav. And in that way, he helped me personally, I don't know for others, that all these different tattvas, <laughs> what we say, become relishable and very simple because he put the cream on the coffee. And for that reason, we need association of Rasik devotees in the same mood, who are very favorable to us. But if we don't define what is our goal, then we cannot 
receive such kind of association as much as we have opportunity. So, Rasik devotee is someone who is putting the essence, queen essence, like Gurudev is saying. And because of these queen essence, all other complicated things become very clear. One thing now I realize, I want to share you. Even the Krishna, he has no idea of Bhatsali Rasa. Of what? Bhatsali Rasa. Bhatsali Mother also wants to give, to feel Bhatsaliya, and Krishna also appears to take the motherly love here. So he was also thai in his bhav to release motherly love. And he became very naughty. And he wants to relish motherly love. So what he is feeling and what mother is feeling, that exchange of also is giving new feeling. Similarly, Manjari, when a Thai bhav come, we feel Radhika, and Radhika also marks us. We also need mark of Radhika. I want to be mark mid servant of her. So when a mother is a Ashraya, Krishna is Visha, and Krishna took the Ashraya of mother also. Child take Aishra, and we wish for child, mother is the Vishaya. What's this class? You see? So this exchange also is very relishing. But Bhav has to us child. Then Ravish Mantra. If in Manjari Bhav, our Manjari Bhav has to us time, then exchange starts. He is also here Bhatsarya. Same Bhatsarya is here also with Swamini, Radhika. Radhika also need Manjari. <laughs> Manjari need Radhika, Radhika need Manjari. Manjari say, I am there, why you worry? I will take care of you. This is exchange. we can understand Chaitanya Mahaprabhu even better. When Krishna took the role of Ashraya, role of Radharani, well, the, uh, he said, I took, I become, you are my goal, I am, I took your Here, yeah, you see, Mahaprabhu give this and cover also with this mood. Means I don't want to escape out of this mood. That is a Thai mood.
Well, thank you. So good if Goda Sunda is here now. I told him you have a message. You have to confirm with the airlines there. I I'm missing you. I'm Guru Dev, now we we break the the the, the meditation of of so many. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful. The, today, the classes, this exchange of feelings. From you we learn relationship in an eternal way, Gurudev. This is what we get from you. And this one point that you give, you give Ishtadev, you give us our body, spiritual body, all is from you and from your Gurudev, the whole line and actually from Mahaprabhu. So this is the mercy is flowing to us so that what is Goranga Sundara explaining, he got it by your association. So we can, we can read, we can understand so many things. But to live in that, we need a person who is in, so that we get this virus, this loving virus of Swamini, this is only, this is not by Tattva, this is only given by a living. We need one who is in that to revive it in us. And one word of more, there is a mercy of who is living there. So I also need the mercy of all of you. And bless me that I can grow in this way. But we all need <laughs> this only based on mercy. Without mercy, it's not possible. No, mercy is foundation. This is the. But I feel it was your desire today, Gurudev, that Gora Sundara, uh, Goranga Sundara and Tarun explain it in a good detail so that we have foundation of some tattva, but also come into the feelings at the same time. This is that, is that we are together. Yes. Mm. We, then we want to grow it more and fix it. And this is our good luck. If can it happens in this life, this life will be successful. I this will be the youth of life taking birth. I think it's also very important. Like of course Rasa is most important, but honestly speaking, um without the foundation. Of tattva and uh, under, like Gurudev now was saying, we have to correctly understand this point. Without the understanding this point, the Anubhavs and the Vibhavs and the Sattvika Bhavs and the Yavichari Bhavs, they can be taken uh, in a mundane way. So the Acharyas always warn us against this that we should have a clear understanding of it. Otherwise, it can, the love affairs of Radha and Krishna can appear. Like the love affairs of the, like Gurudev said, if we are reading Govinda Lilambrita, we can think this is a mundane affair. So if we don't understand the tattva of the bhavas and of the stai bhav, how can we, then can, we can run into danger 
that it can appear mundane. So without a clear understanding, rasa can also not really appear in the heart because then we take it for cheap. So there is always the warning of the acharyas that we should really understand it not not like bone dry detail but in a nutshell like goranga sunda just gave us this is wonderful this has to practice bhaiya not to understand it has to drink it has to go in the heart and it has to be only in practice in our material physical identification even to live in this consciousness we cannot take it out when we will die it will go my senses but and my mind and ego but in this circumstances we have to realize it realize it not by listening to keep in mind will work we have to living in this so we need this association when the day will come that we are living in all circumstances as thai and uh, seed is there but listening will make me watery mm uh -huh. so this watching every day is happen and the time like a gardener knows when to water and take out the wheat it will sure grow so you are helping to take out the wheat and watering by sharing right <clears throat> and you are our umbrella gurudev <laughs> and <I'm> the <this> student <laughs> no you keep everything together that's it i need blessing that we can grow it. there is you no are chatra here chatra no senior no junior we are one day difference age we are <laughs> similar age we are all radha das sir thank you so much Ajay Shira de thank you all for coming and listening to this beautiful explanation of rasa tatva and how to apply it in my life aula sati tayo rasa tatva na aula sati is living in the rasa and bhava bhava or what what is the highest rati or bhava bhava bhav gurudev for me <laughs> highest no rasa and what the morning was class acha mm -hmm. uh, higher than rasa what is this bhava oh there was something higher rasa dasha gurudev mm -hmm. bhava then bhava living in the bhava is your manjari bhav living in your bhav yes morning uchwala uchwala rasa swa bhakti shriyam bhav darshan hmm living in the your bhav asthai bhav
Never deviate from your feelings. That's a bhav dasa. Kishori is right in morning time. Thank you.